Yo, there's King of the Pit TV signing in live at large. We're listening to Paramore's uh, Riot Record. Uh, this one's entitled That's What You Get. And is this the song That's What You Get When You Let Your Heart Win? Because I know that line. That line comes to mind right now. Um, let's have a look at the comments. Right. It's always an emotional moment going through the comments. This song is helping me get through life for real. I used to blast this song heavy. And uh, Laisha says, me too. Every breakup. Wow. Write breakup music, people. Dude, write songs about love. That guitar riff is iconic. First song I ever learned on drums. The second verse still smacks so hard. Cool. We might we might delve back into that. Let's keep going. The production is brilliant. I love that guitar right there. I'm writing for a band at the moment, right? I'm going to do a rock band, uh, sort of following conventional pop structure and go to a nice producer and have it sound massive, right? I'm going to do vocals and leads. Um, well, general guitar. It's going to be a three piece currently. Uh, but when I've been putting leads on a record, and for people who are unaware, this is like lead guitar, so not the rhythm guitar, but what you hear twinkling away in the background there, it's so hard to not have it overpower and sort of clash with the lyric, but the producer has sort of blended it back and pushed it to one side to such a degree that it exists and really adds to the content um, of the soundscape you're hearing now, but the vocal line is front and center, you know what I mean? And the guitar just sort of adds to the color as to which um, Haley is painting atop of, right? I've I've got a re I'll tell you what man this 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 bit touches me the um, intro and now this turnaround section because this particular rhythm and sound and choice of chords to be honest is so reminiscent of a time when I was initially getting into like when I was making my way into alternate music. So there was like popular metalcore bands and uh, a lot of bands definitely around my area as well that were trying to sort of rip off Bring Me The Horizon and there was While She Sleeps and stuff like that. While She Sleeps came a little bit later, but that sound I hear reflected in this particular guitar tone and chord progression when it comes out and it just leaves it hanging. This bit. <laughs> I've burnt every bridge I ever built while you were here. I know, I know that relates to a lot of people. I know that, I know. This is why people loved and loved Paramore. She can write great, oh, maybe she's not writing all the lyrics, who knows, I don't know. But it's that relatability content. So many people can relate to that. Putting your friends to even your family to one side for the sake of a relationship, so that that means something to you. That sacrificial aspect of getting into a relationship with someone. Incredible. And that's what you get when you let your heart win. Wow. Come on.
light little wire on the guitar there. The verse sections were quite groovy as well. We're in the bridge section now. So far, I mean, we're, we're, we're two thirds through the second track and we've listened to the first track. And I can already stamp an approval on this record. You already know it's going to be consistent as hell. You know the songwriting is going to be fantastic. And I'm being biased, okay? I can acknowledge that I am being biased because this, to me, connects to a very strong, nostalgic growing up theme. And I think as far as nostalgia goes, the music that connected to you uh, as a teenager really holds the most weight. That's what I believe. The most emotional weight. Bro, my first... My first, like, proper girlfriend, I think, was proper into Paramore, from what I remember. Or at least she seemed like a girl who should have been. You know what I mean? That's how deep this music is, man. Yo, that is the crowd sing-along section. That's what makes this band great. Dude, we're, we're getting stadium-level reactions from the get-go purely because we have not only included a crowd participation element to the music, but we have portrayed it with the gang chant as well, really reinforcing it. Everybody knows. Every, I bet everybody's waiting for that bit to come up at, during that bridge section. <laughs> I'm learning a lot listening to this music. As a songwriter, I'm learning a lot. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. Let's keep it moving. We've got Hallelujah coming up next. <laughs> 